Microsoft's Halo games are wildly successful both critically and financially, so a movie version seemed like a no-brainer. On June 6, 2005, a year after Halo 2 shattered records, Microsoft made an unprecedented, almost arrogant pitch to Hollywood, sending Master Chiefs to studio execs with scripts for a movie already written by Alex Garland. The demands were high, including a $10 million price tag for the IP and script, and a whopping 15% of the box office gross director and cast approval, and 60 first-class plane tickets for the premiere. Studio execs were given just a few hours to accept or decline their deal. At the end of the day, Microsoft had two studios interested, Universal and Fox. Microsoft had hoped to use the two studios as leverage against each other, but underestimated their relationship when Fox and Universal decided to make a joint offer and team up to make the movie. Joining the team as co-producer was Peter Jackson, fresh off of his success from the Lord of the Rings series and King Kong. Guillermo del Toro was initially in talks to direct, but Jackson wanted to bring on a new, up-and-coming director for the film, Neil Blomkamp. Jackson's producing fees were high, adding to the production costs, so the studios were happy to have an unknown director step in. Blomkamp, a South African director, was mostly known for a few Nike commercials and a short film about apartheid. He also loved the Halo games. Microsoft, looking for a big blockbuster director, was not too happy about the newcomer. Development was slow, and Blomkamp often found himself in the middle of a three-way power struggle between Fox, Universal, and Microsoft. In the book Generation Xbox, How Video Games Invaded Hollywood, author Jamie Russell describes the relationship by saying, The immensely powerful Microsoft had wandered into the deal naively, expecting everyone to play by its rules, and the resulting culture shock put immense strain on the Halo deal. Meanwhile, prototypes of the armor, weapons, and vehicles were created created by New Zealand special effects company Weta Workshop. However, realizing the mounting costs of the production and a potential budget of $128 million, the studio decided to back out, and in October 2006, the film fell through. Disappointed in this turn of events, Peter Jackson offered Blomkamp $30 million to make a new film, which eventually became District 9. Sharp-eyed fans can see that some of the pre-production art for Halo influenced many of the sci-fi elements of District 9. Blomkamp also eventually directed a live-action short film, Halo Landfall, using props created for the film. 